Have you ever wondered how to create your very own token avatar using AI tools? Hello everyone and welcome to Learn With Us and ours and today we are exploring the exciting world of artificial intelligence and creating your very own token avatar just like myself. But first, let's address some key questions. What exactly is a talking avatar? How are they used in today's digital landscape? And how is it beneficial to content creators? A talking avatar is a dynamic digital entity designed to emulate human speech and interaction. Essentially, it's a virtual character capable of speaking and engaging with users in a manner similar to a real person. These avatars have found widespread utility across diverse fields, including customer service, e-learning, and marketing. In recent times, the concept of talking avatars has gained particular traction among faceless YouTube channels. These channels often owned by creators who prefer to remain anonymous or behind the scenes utilize talking avatars as their on-screen personas. By employing these avatars, creators can maintain privacy while still fostering a sense of connection and engagement with their audience. Through the use of advanced AI technologies, talking avatars can convey emotions deliver information and even respond to user queries in real time. This versatility makes them invaluable tools for content creators seeking to enhance their online presence and audience interaction. In essence, talking avatars represent a seamless fusion of artificial intelligence and digital communication, serving as powerful assets in modern media landscapes. Our first step involves designing the avatar. And for that, we'll be using Canva, an intuitive graphic design platform. I remember when I first started creating avatars, I struggled to find the right tools. But with Canva's features integrating AI on the platform, the process became a breeze. Stay tuned as I guide you through the process of selecting and customizing an image that perfectly captures the personality of your avatar. The app we'll be using is the Magic Media app. So you find it here on the apps and you type into the search bar Magic Media and Magic Media pops up. I love using this text to image um, generator um, because it's just better than Dao E. We have Dao E also integrated um, to the Canva software editing software we have other a couple of other um, text to image generators but the one i'm most familiar with and i am okay with the results is magic media so we'll be using magic media in this video to generate our avatar next is coming up with your, your prompt okay but your prompt has to be very descriptive and it has to communicate what you want your avatar to look like from the personality it should give, the color of the outfit, if you want your avatar to put on the glasses, is it a uh, realistic um, or is it a cartoonish character you want to generate, you name it, you come up with your own prompt and just be detailed. And note that for Magic Media, there's limitation to the amount of words you can put in the text box so you just need to utilize that well to capture your character so now let's generate our avatar let's generate in yes we have four pictures generated and this just looks most appropriate so i'll be picking her selecting her um, enlarge this so that you can see what our uh, avatar looks like. Now we have created our avatar. Looks perfect. So for the dimensions, this is a YouTube video. You want so, a 16 by 9 YouTube ratio. We have two alternatives. Either to expand this manually, which will zoom into the image and not exactly show our background. So this is what it's going to do. This is the result. It's just going to be very much zoomed in. 
and this is not how you want your YouTube video to look like. Okay, so um, you could do that or use the cool, very cool feature by Canva Magic Expand. Now, this is a tricky one because Magic Expand sometimes the result is yeah, it's enable and very funny, but let's use it anyway. Um, be about, yes, YouTube dimension 16 by 9. So I'm going to say magic expand to expand this image. So it's just going to generate um, something that is going to supposed to be similar with the background. That's what uh, magic expand does expand an image to um, give you the ratio you want it to give you. So let's hope for the best and see if it's going to give us produce great results. Thank God. <laughs> it did, it did, it did. I love the second results. It is very appropriate, yeah. So this, this is a good one. It's still generating, so let's see the other two that is going to come out of this. Okay, this is the third option. Third option. And let's say the last one was last. Okay, okay, so we should we go for i'm looking at this two between these two i think i like this better so we'll click on done and yes perfect the reason why i didn't say whole page is because hmm, most of the time why is this hanging yeah release down okay most of the time, when you use the whole page, it will generate something very funny. So now we have it in the right ratio for YouTube, and this is great. Next, we'll be generating a voice for our avatar using the tool AI tool called ClaimChamp, an innovative AI power tool by Microsoft for generating lifelike voice ovens. When I discovered ClaimChamp, I was blown away by the diverse range of nationalities it offers for the speakers, from British accents to American, Australian, African, and beyond. ClaimChamp provides an array of options to suit any avatar's personality. Plus, its ability to produce natural sounding voices truly enhances the avatar experience. Keep on watching to see how I demonstrate the cool text-to-speech feature ClaimChamp has and how to use it to create voice for our avatar. Now, this is ClipChamp by Microsoft and it really has lots of cool features. I think this is one underrated software. Not underrated. I would use the word underrated. Um, maybe not talked about, not so talked about. That has a lot of free tools that level up your editing game. Really, this is not a sponsored video, but I mean, I use it for a lot of things. And if you'd love to see a tutorial or, or a video on things that you could use this editor to do, um, comment, um, let me know if you'd love to see that. So um, the business of the day is to um, turn text to speech. And this is right here. So I'll just click on try it. Try it and it to take us to the editing console. Yeah. So we have different options of recording screen and camera camera screen audio and creating so there's an, a tool to create and that's text to speech the reason why yeah so i'll type in text to speech you see that it has already um brought out a bar or an audio bar bar for whatever i want to create and um this on the side panel here you have the option to choose the country the voice over where you want your character to come from the voice character to come from let's go to english united um states and pick a voice over we can test different voices this is ava ashley let's hear what ashley sounds like choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing and we have, um, I'm not going to be able to test all, but because I've used this a lot, so we'll be going with Elizabeth. 
and I'll type in what I want my avatar to say. So something is shot. Okay, so let's do hi. Yes, so now you save, you tap on save. Tap on save and let's play. You can see here it says the maximum duration is 10 minutes. I think for the free version. So probably if you use the pay tool, it would increase the um, time limit on your voiceover that you can generate. So let's play. Hi. I am Elizabeth, you're welcome to my channel. I talk about all things. So that's perfect. And we'll you type on export and it just takes you to um, the kind of quality you would love to download your content in. So this is free. This is paid and I'm on the free version right now. So I'll just tap on this and it's going to download. So that's all about it. <laughs> Next, we'll bring our avatar to live using DID, an AI-powered tool specifically designed for animating avatars. So we're back to the Canva app and um, the Canva editor rather, and we are about to bring our avatar to life. The avatar we initially designed using the um, magic media, it's now time to bring it to life. So, Recall that we have generated an image and um, that's text to image. Secondly, we did text to speech, generated a voiceover for our avatar, and now it's time to bring the two together the image and the voice to life. So, um, already have searched out the ID AI presenter on the app right here. If you are new to this, you have to go on into your Canva and this is actually free yes to access the DID AI presenter is free so this I have 20 free credits when you sign in with your email account so you go into Canva and then you go to the apps and on the search bar just type in DID and it will pop up so the next move we have to make is to upload our avatar and that we will do now. Yes, it's here now. We'll tap on this image and um, we have to add our voice. So the voice, the audio, um, the voiceover we generated, we'll add it here. So we tap on upload audio, upload your own audio. And here it is, we tap and it's on the platform now. We can, you can preview your speech. You can preview your speech. Let's preview. Hi, I am Elizabeth. You're welcome to my channel. Yes. I talk about all things beauty and tech. Yeah, so that was the voice of what we generated for Clip Champ. And um, we will generate presenting now. And Hi. here is I am Elizabeth, you're welcome to our my avatar. I talk about all things beauty and tech. So this is so cool. It's so interesting how the power of AI, how you're able to generate, um, um, turn an image to a talking video. So it's interesting. Let's play. This. Hi, I am Elizabeth. You're welcome to my channel. I talk about all things beauty and tech. Yes. So that's it. That is how you can bring your avatar to life using the Canva software. And it's also exclusive. So the DID AI presenter is also on its own. You just need to visit the website to access more tools on it. You can access it, access it from here, but the website is best bet if you want to explore all of the features that DID has. Um, likewise for ClipChamp, ClipChamp is Microsoft and um, the first um, one is the Magic Media. Magic Media is belongs to the Canva and that was what we used to generate our image. 
If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out my other tutorials on AI and digital media. And don't forget to subscribe for more valuable content that will help elevate your digital presence and boost your income. And there you have it. With the power of AI tools like Canva, Claimchamp, and DID, you can create your very own talking avatar in no time. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy creating.